Welcome to Pack Tactics. I stole Kobold's camera. I wanted to share with you guys what I've been up to. Kobold told me to stop stealing his money. But I like money. And I like stealing. So I have moved to a new business venture. I buy castles for a low price with the money I borrowed from Kobold. And I sell them for a lot more. It's making me rich. Or, well, it was until some gnomish adventuring party came by to stop the evil awakened crocodile. One, I bought this castle fair and square. And two, I'm not a crocodile. I don't get what the problem is with these gnomes. Maybe they're just noobs who's jealous of my success. So I had an idea. Kobold keeps on saying conjure animals good. So I'm going to try to use the spell to defend my castle towers from the gnomes. Abracadabra! <laughs> um, what? Baboons? Kobold, how much DPR do baboons do? Baboons? I've never seen baboons before. Against 15 AC, that would be 8.88 with pack tactics and a 5.2 without. This is all of them together. Hey! They have pack tactics. That gives me an idea. What if we give the monkeys darts? That would do more damage, right? Probably. While they are proficient with their fists, their to hit and damage is pretty bad because of their negative strength modifier. It's just plus one to hit for 1d4 minus one damage usually. Though they aren't proficient with darts or any weapons of that matter, they would still have a plus two to hit and one d4 plus 2 damage because of their dexterity. Against the same AC, that would be 24.99 DPR with pack tactics and 15.4 without it. Wow, that's nearly three times as much damage. We need to go even further beyond. Kobold, how much would we do if we gave them a crossbow? The baboons are small size, so a heavy crossbow isn't a good idea. So I guess a light crossbow crossbow then. That would be the same to hit, but for 1d8 plus 2 damage. At that point, we'd get to... Oh, wow. 36.79 DPR with pack tactics and 22.6 without. Oh my god, baboons are really, really good. <laughs> Kobold, that's not enough! I want more, more, more! Give them snipers! I want sniper baboons! D&D has anti-matter rifles, right? Well, yeah, they do like 68 damage, but they're not very practical. Kobold, I don't care! Just give me the math! I need to defend my castle! Gator, what are you talking about? What are you up to? Anyways, it would be plus two to hit for 68 plus two damage. That's 169. 9.54 DPR with pack tactics and 103.6 without this isn't very realistic Gator. How would you even- Kobold you got a good point. I don't know how to get them. Um Okay, one more idea. I think this should work. How much damage could the baboons do if I had them shoot cannons? Gator, you're gonna tell me what's going on right now. It's been a long day for me. The gnomes are trying to take over my- Oh, gnomes. Okay, I'm in. But Kobold, I haven't even- Gator, I don't think you understand. To them, they consider me a monster. But the truth is, I'm just a murder hobo. There's a difference. You see, a monster is an NPC. I am not an NPC, and I take that personally. Anyways, let's go. Siege weapons are a little bit weird, because they require multiple actions before you can actually shoot with them. A cannon requires one action to be loaded, one action to be aimed, and one action to be fired. I'm not entirely sure if this works, but I believe if one of the monkeys were to fire, they're the one to make an attack roll, so pack tactics would apply. If all eight monkeys were able to fire the cannon for each of their actions, they would be doing 343.44 DPR with pack tactics and 238.4 without. But like I said before, they can only fire every three shots. 
So we divide that by 3. So then we get 114.48 DPR with pack tactics and 79.47 DPR without. But you would need like three cannons to do this. I guess I have to borrow some cannons then. From who? The gnomes? We don't know any wizardly engineers. I'm going to ask around on Reddit. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, see you later, alligator. In a while, reptile! I learned something new today. Face spirits with opposable thumbs and hands should be able to use these cannons. And of course, they would be able to do it if you commanded them to do so, right? It's just up to the DM at this point. I shouldn't have been too excited. I hope Gator tells me exactly what's going on. Wait, the camera's on. Oh, well, okay. Well, content is content, I guess. Anyways, make sure to check out Cephalon in the comments for the, the cool graphs and DPR calculations and stuff. By the way, are you looking for a hell of a good time? Well, this video is sponsored by Rule of Chaos, where you get to play as demons with fun new mechanics. <laughs> Six new infernal races that offer unique gameplay and roleplay opportunities. It gets mechanically interesting too. The races level up with your class, giving you even more features for you to play with. And you pick them. That means choose resistances, blind sight, flight, and even size. You can choose five different size categories in character creation from tiny to huge. How fun. That means oversized weapons. Yay! This book has over eight demonically reimagined classes with over 24 new subclasses. You can even create your own spells. They've got a balanced spellcrafting system using simple building blocks. Now for the coolest feature. They have an app that lets you create and manage your character. That's right. It's super easy character creation. Now for DMing stuff. Improved mob rules with mob tactics giving them certain stats and size changes for quick play. New chaos card mechanic and spells to manipulate the tide of chaos. It's a deck of cards that give you random events. Uncover all the secrets about demons, hell, heaven, and much more. This book comes with a hell of an adventure. There's more than 30 magic items and lastly over 20 unique monsters. I recommend trying out their free 119 page long adventure. Subscribe to their newsletter in the link below and get it directly into your mailbox. It comes with playtesting rules and four pre-made demon characters. And if you like it, consider backing their Kickstarter on October 19th. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>